So in this video, we're just going to do a little bit of an update here on my situation. So I am on peritoneal dialysis right now. So what that means is I have a tube in my abdomen that I fill up with a fluid every day. I let it dwell for a little bit and then I drain it out. Um, I was doing it manually uh, four times a day and then letting it sit for eight hours overnight and during the day it would be like four to six hours each time and so I really couldn't do anything. Um, it's a little different from hemodialysis because in hemodialysis you filter your blood and you can do that with a home machine or you can go every three days to a place to do it. Um, this you do every day and the benefit of doing it every day it works more like a kidney so you're doing more filtering more often and what happens is you fill up your peritoneal which encompasses all your organs um, and there's an exchange between the equilibrium happens an exchange happens between the wall and the fluid you put in they need to drain out before they, they start going back in but what it does is it pulls um, all the bad stuff out like your kidneys would do um, but it also pulls out the good stuff so you have to eat more protein because it will pull all the protein out of you too and it also pulls out the fluid so before I was on dialysis. I was had my legs really big, uh, my feet were big, and I was retaining a lot of fluid, and so that was part of what was causing me to have a lot of out of breath. Now I'm pulling off uh, just through dialysis a liter and a half of water every day, so <clears throat> I'm able to do more activities. Now, I'm not 100 percent, of course, but um, I'm at least a lot better than I was. So when I go dirt bike riding, I don't. I still get winded, but not anywhere near like I was, so it's a lot better now. Um, so, um, yeah, so I do this every day, and so now what I'm doing is I do one manual exchange at night um, with the manual bag, and then I work on I work on a machine which does the rest of the exchange, and overnight it'll put fluid in and put fluid out every so often. And so <clears throat> that's how I can get up and do things during the day without having any fluid in me. And I can just live a normal day. And I also don't have as many diet restrictions as I did before. Uh, just because I'm doing this every day. Unlike with hemodialysis where if you're going to a, a place to do it every couple of days, the toxins will build up on you and you'll start to feel drowsy and like crap again. And then you'll have these ups and downs uh, where then you'll you know do dialysis and... And so you get tired after that. And so uh, doing it every day, it's more like how your kidneys work. So it's a lot, it's, it's a lot better. Um, and um, so um, in this video here, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'll just show you a manual exchange. And I'll show you the what I have to do every day to clean the wound um, or clean the catheter. And um, otherwise, I am trying to get on the kidney transplant list. Maybe I'll know by July if I get on it. But if I get on it, uh, then I can get a kidney. That means somebody can either donate me a kidney or I can uh, be on the list and then wait until I get uh, uh, someone who's passed, uh, who's an organ donor, and get their kidney. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get on the list. Now uh, there's a lot of checks and things I have to do, but um, hopefully I'll find out You know, within the next three or four months. Uh, so anyhow, um, yeah, enjoy this video or update of what I have to do every day. <laughs> so these are supposed to be heated up <coughs> to basically body temperature. The heating pad. These are the manual transfer so usually you have a drain bag that you drain into and then you have the new solution this is a uh, 2.5% yeah it's two liters so you have to, you have to break that little thing there don't have anything to drain out right now. I am mostly I'm going to be transferring in. So 
keep with this in here. It has to be sterile. Put that in there. Then put that clamp on. Now I clamp this. So it's not draining. I do a flush, get the air out of line. And then it drains into me. <clears throat> I have to wear a mask. But keep all the doors closed, but I have it. Uh, while it's putting in, I can take it off. And then at the end, I will clamp it. And I will put one of these end caps. <coughs> which has iodine inside here to kill bacteria. So every day I gotta put this elixir stuff on. Stuff on these Q tips like this. And then I clean them out my spots. So See, I just clean this whole area here pretty much. <clears throat> then back up a little bit. So then I put this gentamicin cream on, cream on. I gotta do this every day, every morning. Gentamicin cream on. It's kind of like Neosporum, but like a lot more powerful. And uh, after that, I put this cloth on. A little pillow. Just get it in focus. Then I put a large size bandaid on. of some sort. This is what I've got right now, today. That's it. <clears throat> so, I have, I wear the strap, where I put the thing in and keep it there. See, this is the whole thing, that's the end of it. This is a cap that's on it, it's screwed off. And put into the, either another bag or the machine. So, I'm gonna put this in here like this. And hope it doesn't fall out, and then I just usually wrap them like that. And I'm ready to start my day. 